Hey, hey trainers, what's up and welcome back to the lab. My name is Professor Howie, as always, and I hope you are all having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the dreaded Mew VMAX and why it's still one of the best decks in the format. But first, before we get into that, let's make this quick. If you do like this content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, really helps us out. A thousand subscribers, we're doing a booster box giveaway. Stick around for that. Every Tuesday at 3 p.m. PST, I stream at twitch.tv. I do giveaways every stream. We're giving away a bunch of packs. We're giving away some league battle decks. We're giving away some ETB codes. So come on by, win a code, play more Pokemon TCGO. It'll be a lot of fun. Please come by, thank you. Also, if you want, updates if you want to talk to people if you want to hang out with me if you just want to chill we do have a discord channel link is in the description below please come by we do have a lot of fun there we are, i'm currently trying to theory craft a deck with you guys so if you want to do that feel free to come on by it's free to do just do it come on by hang out we're chilling anyways try to get through that as fast as i could with all that out of the way let's get right into what makes this deck go okay so here it is the infamous mu v max deck it's a lot of fun I misplay it all the time, but I have a really good time doing it. Uh, so let's check out the star of the deck, Mew VMAX. Now, this is your main attacker of this deck, 310 HP, two colorless energies for cross fusion strike. You may choose one of your benched fusion strike Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. This is the main attack we're going to be using. We're going to be using either Genesis Technoblast, which does 210 damage, or we're going to be using Meloada's Melodious Echo, which does 70 damage for each Fusion Strike energy in play. So if you have four Fusion Strike energies on your Pokemon, it's hitting for 280 damage. So it can hit for a minimum of zero and hit for a maximum of 280. This means with Choice Belt, Mew VMAX can hit for 310, knocking out itself. This means with Power Tablet, which is another item in this, it gives you 30 extra damage for that turn. It will knock out 340 HP VMAX Pokemon. So very strong, and it also knocks out all V-Star Pokemon without a Choice Belt or a Power Tablet. So great. Let's keep that in mind. And for two Psychics, you have Max Miracle, 130 damage, and the attack isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Now this comes in handy against Mill Tanks. Although we are usually powering this card up with a double turbo, you can power it up with a Psychic, or you could use the Fusion Strike energies to power it. But we're mainly using double turbos on this card. It evolves from UV, 180 HP, a little bit low end. One Psychic energy for energy mix. You may search your deck for an energy card and attach it to one of your Fusion Strike Pokemon. Pokemon. This isn't bad if you're trying to like just power up your bench. It's okay. And then for a sidekick and a colorless psychic leap, 70 damage. You may shuffle this Pokemon all attach cards into your deck. We're basically trying to evolve this as fast as possible. We do not want to keep this as a baby new V or long. And we have our secondary attacker, Meloetta, 90 HP, fusion strike, one retreat cost. It's a little bit weak, but it's a, it's attack Melodious Echo. The 70 damage for each fusion strike attached to all your Pokemon. So it can hit for 280, because you gotta have it up to four fusion strikes in your deck. And it's good. It's great. Just a little bit on the weak side, so you gotta keep it safe. A little bit scary sometimes. We're bringing two of those. And we're bringing four Genesect Vs. Now this is your deck engine. It's ability fusion strike system once during your turn. You may draw as many cards as you have fusion strike Pokemon in play. So you can draw, if you have a full bench and an active, you can draw up to six cards. And then it's attack Technoblast, two steel, one colorless, 210 damage, can't attack during your next turn. But this card you're mainly using for the ability. So you want to be careful of the path to the peaks and things like that. A great card, great attack for Mew VMAX to take advantage of if you're running low on, on Fusion Strike energies in play and whatnot. So we are taking four Genesect Vs, two Meloadas, four Mew Vs, and three Mew VMAXs. Now we're also taking four Battle VIP passes. This lets you grab up to two basic Pokemon from your deck and put them onto your bench. It is very strong. The only caveat is you have to use it in your first turn. Otherwise, it kind of becomes a dead card, but dead cards aren't an issue in this deck because we are taking four Cramomatics. Now this card, you discard another item card from your hand, flip a coin. If heads, you can grab any card you want from your deck. Now, if you don't get to use all your battle VIP passes in your first turn, it's fine because you can now use them to power your Cramomatic. Very awesome. We are taking two escape ropes. Now Mew VMAX has a zero retreat cost, as does Mew. 
but you want to be able to switch out for your, uh, your Genesects if they get pulled out, or your Melawada. You don't want to be retreating with energy with this deck, so that's what Escape Rope's for. Four Power Tablets. Now, this can mean the difference between taking a knockout and losing your Pokemon the next turn. I see a lot of people just kind of throw this card away when they play Mew VMAX, but really think if it's worth throwing away before you do so with the Cramomatic. I personally love this card. This card has clutched out many games for me, and don't think, oh, it's just another item card. Really think about it before you throw it away. We're bringing four Quick Balls so we can grab our basics out, which is going to be our Genesects, our Meloattas, and our Mew Vs. We are bringing two Rotom Phones, which lets you look at the top five cards of your deck, choose one of them, put it at the top, and shuffle the rest of the cards. Ability to take that card off the top. If you have three cards in your hand, you have four, and you have four Fusion Strike Pokemon in play, you can easily grab the card you want on top and basically just have a free top deck. So that's very strong and very fun to use. We are bringing two switches to switch a Rooney Dooney. We are bringing three trekking shoes to really turbo through our deck. That is what this deck excels at doing. We are bringing four Ultra Balls to grab out any Pokemon we want, including the Mew V Max. It also really helps you thin out your hand if you want to draw more using Genesis. We are bringing two Rose Towers for a little bit extra draw and to also get rid of those pesky path to the peaks that are in play. We are bringing one training court in case we want to recycle our one psychic energy or to remove the pesky path to the peaks in play. We are bringing three bosses order to pull out the Pokemon that we want to smack down. We are bringing three Elisa's Sparkle. This lets you accelerate your fusion strike energies onto your Pokemon much quicker, allowing you to hit with Melodious Echo much faster and much harder. We are bringing two choice belts to get that extra 30 damage on V and VMAX Pokemon. We're bringing two double turbo energies to charge up our Mew VMAXs so that way they may hit with any move from any of our other Pokemon. We are bringing four Fusion Strike energies, which act as any energy. It also prevents all effects from your opponent's Pokemon's abilities, so not too bad. And we are bringing one Psychic energy, okay? Well, that's the deck right there. It's a lot of fun, a little bit tough to use. You gotta really think about your resources a lot in this deck because you basically turbo through your deck as fast as you can, and then you just try to win the game as fast as possible. It's a lot of fun. It's very strong. And uh, let me just show you the strength of this cute pink little cat. Okay, only three mulligans. Genesect. We have such a good setup right now. I love this. So we need to get out a, a, a Meloatta and a Mew and two more Genesects. We have the Elisa Sparkle to put down two Fusion Strike Energies. We have the Double Turbo. I need a Switch. And I need a uh, Psychic Energy. I need another energy that isn't the double turbo. It'd be cool if I could draw into a fusion strike energy, actually, because if I put two down, I could try to bosses the Gengar out, but then I don't have enough to kill it with the Elisa Sparkle. Hmm. Okay, let's battle VIP for two Genesects. Thank you. Go ahead and battle VIP for the Mew and Meloatta. Let's go ahead and Cram-O-Matic away the Quick Ball. I could use an Energy, right? I said I needed a Switch, though. Let's grab the Switch. Let's go ahead and play the Switch onto the Meloatta. Let's go ahead and hit the Elisa Sparkle on you and on you, I guess. All in the deck. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and hit our first Fusion Strike system. Escape Rope Trekking Shoes. We got that. That is what we were kind of looking for. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Cramomatic. We will. I kind of want to keep that. Do I keep... I think I keep the escape rope as well. Let's... Fusion Strike. Choice Belt. Decisions, decisions. 
I could I could drop the choice belt down real quick. I think I'm just gonna attack. Take knockout right there. He's already behind one energy right now, which is really good for us. We got Rose Tower. So next turn we can double turbo here. We can Ultra Ball the Rose Tower and something else for the Mew V Max. We can escape rope so our Mew V Max can come out in the Meloada in her two energies are safe on her. Okay, he's bossing out the Genesect. That's fine because we have the escape rope. And he brings out Gengar V Max. Had to hit 320. We're going to be hitting um, 260 next turn. This makes it 290. So we need we need a power tablet. We need a power tablet if we're going to take knockout next turn. But if we we're not going to knock out the Gengar V Max next turn probably unless I get a bosses. But if he doesn't put down energy, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just throw down the escape rope real quick. We got the power tablet, which is great news for me. And I'm also assuming I get the other energy, aren't I? Okay, we will put out the Mew Max. <laughs> Double turbo out. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball these two for the Mew V Max. Play down the Mew V Max. We don't need to play the Power Tablet yet, so I'm going to hold on to it for just a second longer. Got another Cramomatic. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of this Battle VIP for the Cramomatic. We get a Tails. Let's go ahead and Cramomatic this Power Tablet out. We get a Heads. What do we want? We can grab another Genesect. We could grab a Bosses. How much damage am I doing? Hmm. Let's grab the bosses. Why am I saying it like that? Let's go ahead and bosses out the crowbat for two prizes. Let's go ahead and fusion strike system. Pop, pop, pop. We do have two prizes, right? Let me um, seventy. We're hitting for one ninety. Yeah, we have we have that. All right, trekking shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll take Elisa Sparkle. No problem. Let's go ahead and hit a Melodious Echo for Knockout. Boom, bada boom. Another Elisa Sparkle and a Switch. All right, so we got a Switch in case he tries to do any Switch shenanigans. Um, we could use the Elisa Sparkle next turn to put down one more. What's it been called? We got two Power Tablets. I think that's enough for Knockout on the Gengar VMAX. Because we're hitting for 70, 140, 210. If we get another one, we're hitting for 280. Minus. Minus. 20 is 260. Oh, he takes knockout. Shoot. Oh, well, this works for us, I think. I think we might just have knockout here. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, another Genesect. All right, let's go ahead and do at least a Sparkle. Let's grab you and you. I don't really care. Put one down. So 280. 310. 340. Lodius Echo takes the knockout. 340, I was right. I did math correctly, guys. And we win. GG, well played. Okay, the Zapdos deck. Let's see if we can uh, hang in there. <laughs> Quick ball. Mareep. Okay, not a problem. He's probably trying to get a Flaffy going or something so he can start dynamotoring. That would be my guess. Bolton. Mm. Scoops for the Bolton. Very cool. Puts back the Zapdos. Puts out the Stormy Mountain. We'll play down Rose Tower to get rid of that real quick. We got a Fusion Strike energy. Alright, let's go ahead and drop the Rose Tower into play. Let's go ahead and battle VIP. Let's... Grab a Genesect, and let's grab the Meloada and the Genesect. Let's do that. Usually I grab two Genesects here, but I want to play down this so it's not my hand anymore. I want to go ahead and play the Kramomatic. 
We flip a tails. Let's go ahead and do uh, trekking shoes. Uh, yeah, we will take that. We will now um, release a sparkle. We'll use the U2. One, two. Looks like one of them may be prized. Fusion strike system. Really hope I draw onto something here. Trekking shoes. Uh, no, I don't want the Kramomatic. Ultra Ball. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball these two away for a Genesect. Alright, let's draw four and hope we draw into something. <laughs> Trekking shoes. We get the switch. Let's go ahead and switch. We got a power tablet. We're doing what? 70. One, 210. I don't think we need the power tablet. Training court? No, I don't need the training court. We get a Mu V. Um, 70, 140, 210 out of 200. Let's go ahead and fusion strike one more time. I could put that down if I want to. Quick ball. Let's go ahead and quick ball away and ultra ball for a last and final Genesect V. Pop that bad boy down. Go ahead and fusion strike system for three more cards, please. Another Elisa Sparkle power tablet. I don't think I really need anything else, for, so I'll just go ahead and Melodious Echo, and we'll go ahead and take Knockout for 210. Easy. <laughs> Very easy. We got the Mew VMAX in hand. We can Cramomatic the Ultra Ball next turn. I want to hold on to my power tablets in case I need them. Um, I'm Cramomaticing for a switch, I think, to put in the Mew. Oh no, I. Soaring Mountain comes back into play. That's fine, I guess. He brings out another Mareep. He Marnies. Shoot, he Marnies. We get a pretty good hand, but that's fine. Maybe we'll draw into our... No, because it's in the prizes, isn't it? So we're hitting for 210. We have a Bosses. We have a Choice Belt. We have a Quick Ball and a Rose Tower. So we'll slap down the Rose Tower. Hmm. How many no electric energies in the discard yet? Flaffy's not really that much of a deal, but if I take out... Okay, brings out the Marie. We could bosses. I think I'll... Oh, what are you going to bring out? If it's another Bolton, I'm bossing the Bolton immediately. <laughs> but I want to get Meloada back because it's kind of scary for me to have her out. Mill tank. Uh, I'll probably boss out the Mill tank then. That makes the most sense to me. So we get the roses, we do that. Let's go ahead and slap the choice belt down. Let's go ahead and bosses out that mill tank. Let's go ahead and hit a rose tower. Let's go ahead and quick ball the Mew for absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and hit a fusion strike, draw five. We got the Mew VMAX, very cool. Let's go ahead and Rotom Phone real quick. Uh, nothing I'm really looking for, is there? Nope. Okay, let's just throw a power towel on the top then. And I can't really get rid of those. Let's go ahead and draw a little bit more because I'm looking for my double turbo right now. So my new VMAX is set up and ready to go. We don't really draw into anything, but we will take knockout here. Not a problem. Bada bing, bada boom. Take out another Take out another prize. We have a switch now, so we could switch into that if we wanted to. We have a bosses, so we can boss out the Zapdos if we want to. I just want to draw into an Ultra Ball and get rid of these. Actually, we'll probably boss out the Radiant Greninja so he can't start his engine. Okay, so he has one energy in the discard. Yeah, actually, it doesn't really matter if Meloata goes down as long as I get this Mew, Mew VMAX going. That's only one energy in the discard still. He is not having much luck getting his energies into the discard. There's a second energy into the discard. He'll probably switch out for Zapdos and take Knockout here, I'm going to guess. And then we're going to have to do some crazy stuff. I'm going to need to waste the switch out. Probably waste the, uh... I want to waste the bosses, but I don't want them to switch into the Zappy Dose. So Mellow Auto is definitely going down here, which is A-OK. -okay. It kind of sucks, to be honest with you, but what you going to do? I could boss out the Radiant Greninja. 
Alright, that is a third energy, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Boop. Starting to get the Zekrom charged up, puts out the Zapdos. Electro Ball will take Knockout. That's totally fine. I am going to put out the Genesect, though. That is one thing I will do. And then I will drop the Double Turbo. I will now switch into the Mew. I will... Do I bosses? What does the Zekrom do? Wild Shock. That will get charged up next turn. Or I'll get 110 damage hit on me. Hmm. Hard choices. We'll just take Knockout. We got an Escape Rope. I should have put down a Mew V though, huh? Probably. Probably. That's a Bolt End. We could uh, pull the Bolt End out and then kill that next turn. We're only hitting for 190 right now though. Power Tablet will get us Knockout. The only thing I'm worried about is getting paralyzed next turn, but if that happens, I could... Can you retreat a paralyzed? I can't remember. I could escape rope Elisa Sparkle, Genesect, escape rope the Mew VMAX, Genesect out, and then I could, uh, Elisa Sparkle and energy onto it. Wait, but I don't have the energy, do I? That was what I was saying this whole time, right? Okay. The problem is I'm going to be paralyzed though, right? So how do I get out of being paralyzed? I got to play as many cards as possible. Power Tablet, Escape Rope, um, Bosses. I can't play the Elises. I need to play the Bosses. Okay, I get marnie so I lose the Escape Rope, unfortunately. I got Rotom Phone, Battle VIP, and Ultra Balls. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball. Yeah, there's the Paralyzed. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball to shuffle the deck real quick. Let's grab a Matic. Shoot. Let's Ultra Ball. Grab a Mew. Pop the Mew down. Go ahead and draw as much as I can here. Six. We got the bosses. So let's go ahead and... I didn't want to click on that. And let's go ahead and boss out the bolt end. We have the other energy now. Let me go ahead and quick ball the battle VIP. I'm done there. I'm going to go ahead and put you out. I'm going to go ahead and draw one here. We get the escape rope. Let's go ahead and escape rope. Oh, shoot. I messed up. I shouldn't have put the bosses out. He's going to just bring out the Flaffy. He brings out the Radiant Greninja for some reason. Let's go ahead and retreat for you. He's just going to get paralyzed again next turn, but I'm screwed, right? We got another escape rope in hand, though, so I'm not really all that worried anymore. Let's use... Techno Blast. Okay, Techno Blast is out. We get another knockout. I completely misplayed, though. We could um, escape rope into the Mew and then switch it, which I could have done last turn, but I'm stupid. <laughs> Whatever. I'm having fun. This deck causes you to think a lot, doesn't it? It doesn't really matter what he does at this point. I don't think there's a way he knocks me out here. He might, though. If this Mew goes down, do I have a way to end this? How many Mew VMAXs are in here? Only one. We got another double turbo, so... Maybe. Um... Alright, let's see what happens. He probably will get knockout, right? Yeah. All he has to do is discard three, I think. 60. No, one. No, 180 would, right? 130. No, yeah, that'd be perfect. 180 would be a perfect knockout, I think. So just three. Okay. 
He's bad at math. <laughs> Just like me. All right, he draws into three. Let's go ahead and put the Mu V out. Let's go ahead and drop this Mu V. Let's go ahead and lay the double turbo. Let's go ahead and quick ball away the Meloata. We do have one more in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's Rose Tower. Let's play that. Let's Elisa Sparkle. One, two. All right, we're done. I don't care. Let's go ahead and Fusion Strike draw. No way I don't draw into it right now. We draw into it. We go ahead and get that. I'm hitting for 190 right now. Do I not have Knockout here? Did I retreat this turn? I'm going to go ahead and play Escape Rope. Just in case I mathed something wrong. I did have another Power Tablet, but I want to make sure I didn't math anything wrong. I'm, uh, I'm getting a little bit worried right now because I'm dumb. Okay, we will go ahead and retreat for you. Play down the Power Tablet and just go ahead. And... Take knockout. There we go. Okay, GG's. I have misplayed horribly, but we did it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is a pretty good start for us. I'm pretty happy with the start right now. I really hope I get an Elisa Sparkle. That is what I'm kind of going for right now. We can cram a Matic away the power tablet, I think we want to do. Not 100% sure. What is this deck? Oh, is this that Starmie deck? That single price Starmie deck? That's a cool deck. Okie dokie. Mew VMAX. Battle VIP for a Mew and a Genesect. I wanted the Mew so I could do this. I can now switch out for the Mew. I could... Cramomatic. The Power Tablet away. I get a Heads which means I, I can get another battle VIP. Perfect. We go ahead and road and phone real quick. Oh, wow. Um, give me a quick ball. All right, we now will genocide for one. Because I really want that quick ball. I will battle VIP again for Genesec and Meloata. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We will now Genesect again. Two. We got a Choice Bell. I don't think the Choice Bell is really necessary in this matchup. So I'm going to go ahead and Quick Ball away the Choice Bell for... Oh, we don't have one. Interesting. For another Mew V. Go ahead and drop down that Mew V. Go ahead and hit a Fusion Strike System one more time. We got that, Escape Rope, Power Tablet. I don't think we really need to use any of that. So let's just go ahead. All oh, right, I can't do anything. <laughs> like, let's just go ahead and, and uh, not use Mew VMAX so they don't have a Mew VMAX out. Okay, we're done. Issues, issues. Oh, I could have trekking shoes to see what else I could have gotten. That's okay though. All right, he Marnies. Hopefully we keep our Mew VMAX or a way to get Mew VMAX, but we do have three Genesects in play, so I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Ultra Ball, Elisa Sparkle, Fusion Strike Energy. All good. Calls for family. So the Battle VIP is a useless card at this moment, but we have the Fusion Strike, so we can put down a Fusion Strike onto Meloata. I would like to use the Sparkle as well. We got two of them, perfect. So let's go ahead and drop an energy there. Let's go ahead and hit the sparkle. Let's attach one here and one here in case they try to boss it out. Put down the energies. One of them is prize. Let's go ahead and ultra ball for Mew V Max. Mew Me Max, all right, put down the evolution. Let's go ahead and draw six real quick. Pop, 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 pop. Power tablet, rose tower. I don't want to put down the rose tower yet. Let's go ahead and ultra ball this and this away for another Mew VMAX. 
drop that bad boy down. Okay. Um, let's draw some more. Quick ball, ultra ball. I don't really need any of that. Let's just go ahead and hit a gnarly melodious echo for what, 210? 190 because of uh, the double turbo. And we got Rotom Foe, not bad. Puts out the Snom. So well, I think I'm going to pull out this Staryu next turn, assuming he doesn't swap out here. He put Training Court into play. Uh, we'll probably switch out for Rose Tower. I don't like him being able to. Oh, we can't now. I don't like him being able to dig out. Maybe he's looking for Radiant or Ninja or something. I don't want him to be able to recycle energies like that. Okay, we got Cramorant, Trekking Shoes, and Quick Ball. I don't really need that. Quick Ball, so I can Cramomatic, the Quick Ball, Trekking Shoes. Blah, blah, blah. And GG, he can't do anything. Okay. <laughs> well, as you can see, this deck is awesome. People fold to it very quickly. They either surrender or you just kind of run away with the game. It's a lot of fun, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Currently, Mew VMAX has been dropping in price pretty drastically. It used to be in like the 30 and 40s, and now it's like you can pay like 20 packs, 22 packs, and you can get your Mew VMAX deck up and running. I understand why it's still one of the best decks in the format. It's still a lot of fun. It still holds up. And I do give it my professor's approval. So go ahead, try it out. It's a lot of fun. What can I say? Well, trainers, thank you for coming to the lab today. My name has been Professor Howie, as always, and I hope you had a great time. If you don't mind, wipe your feet on that red subscription button on the way out. It does help out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I can't wait to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.